everybody. So I'm just going to continue where I left off creating the little pumpkin doll designed by Jess Davies, also known as Craftlover17 on Instagram. So I'm not quite done yet. So I just wanted to show you. In this video, we are just going to be creating this piece, which is the head and the hair. These are the supplies that you're going to need, the total amount for the skin for the head, and this is the total amount you're going to need for the hair. So it's going to continue off on this piece. So it's the total amount. Um, I do recommend that you use a toothpick to help hold down the hair when we're sewing it on. So I'm going to continue and I really do hope you enjoy. So I'm going to start off with my first band and I'm going to wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you're going to pull eight bands through one at a time. On your hook in the top loop over and bring it to the side. And go back in for your second to bring through on your hook. And from now on you'll be bringing the top two loops over. Make sure you're bringing it to the side. And then just continue. Top two loops over, back in. And the top two loops over. Attach your stitch marker to this band that's around your hook and then you can remove off the loom. Move your bands around and you should have eight stitches. For round two, let's just go ahead and increase on every stitch around. So you're using 16 bands, you're adding two bands to each chain, two, 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 all the way around. At the end of round two, you're going to have 16 stitches. So let's go through our first chain and just add two bands, one at a time, and back in for your second band, going to the next chain and adding two, back in. And the next chain with two, all the way till you get to the stitch marker. And the last one. You should have 16 stitches and remove your stitch marker. For round three, you're going to increase on every fourth stitch. So do three single crochets, one band in the first three chains. One, 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 followed by an increase. You're repeating this four times. At the end of round three, you're going to have 20 stitches. So let's go in our first three chains with one band in each. Next chain. Next chain. And your increase, adding two single crochets in that one chain. Back in. And repeat one, 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 two. And back in. I'm going to move the paper so you can see. 
and just repeat again. Don't drop your stitches. And one more time. We should have 20 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're gonna increase our round to 24 stitches. So in order to do so, we're going to do four single crochets followed by an increase. So on every fifth stitch, you're just adding two bands. You're gonna repeat this pattern four times and at the end, you'll have the 24 stitches. So going in your first four chains, one, two, three, and four, you're adding one band in each. Make sure you don't start where your band's being pulled. My fifth chain, adding the two bands, my increase. So go back in for your fifth or your last, second band. Oh my. <laughs> Repeat. Four single crochets. And the last two here, my fifth chain. And repeat again. Back in. And one more time until you get to the stitch marker. And the last chain with two. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For rounds five, six, seven, eight, nine, and ten, you're just doing 24 single crochets, adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. I'm gonna do part of round five with you, and then you're gonna pause the video and come back to me when you've completed round 10. So just make sure you never start where your band is being pulled and just adding one band to each chain. This is the easy part, but I always lose track of my rounds. Always. So just, you know, you might want to just keep your stitch markers on. Like add a new one every time you start a new round. Just so you can count back to make sure you did enough rounds. So you want to pause the video now and come back to me when you're done. For round 11, 
We're going to do four single crochets, one, two, three, and four, followed by an invisible decrease. You're going to repeat this five times. So four single crochets followed by an invisible decrease. At the end of round 11, you're going to have 20 stitches or 20 chains. So, so far, this is what you should have. And I'm going to start the pattern. So let me just move this over. I'm going to go in my first chain, not where it's getting pulled, and I'm going to bring my first band through. Let's do that three more times. So I just added one band in the first four chains. Now the next two chains we're stitching together and I'm going to do a slip stitch in each and then I'm going to pull it through all the loops. So a slip stitch, leave it on your hook, the next chain with a slip stitch. You should have three loops and then you want to slide. And we're going to repeat four single crochets That's one in the next, two in the next, three in the next, four. Now our decrease, slip stitch, leave it on your hook, the next stitch, slip stitch, three loops, and slide. And now just repeat the pattern two more times until you get to the stitch marker. More decrease. three loops and slide. And one more time. So right now you should have 20 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round 12, we're going to do three single crochets followed by an invisible decrease this time. So adding an extra band. Three single crochets followed by an invisible decrease. At the end of round 12, you're going to have 16 stitches. So let's, in the first three chains, add one band. One, one, and one. Don't start where it's getting pulled. The next chain. And your third chain. Now our invisible decrease, so slip stitch in each. The next chain. three loops and slide. You're going to repeat this three more times until you get to your stitch marker. And one more time. It's 
So again, you should have 16 stitches and remove your stitch marker. Round 13, our second last round. We're gonna do 16 single crochets, so just adding one band to each chain. One, 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 all the way around. So you should still have 16 stitches when you're done. Don't start where it's getting pulled and go on your first chain and bring your first band through. And continue on to the next. And the next. All the way till you get to the stitch marker. Sixteen stitches you should have and remove your stitch marker. For round 14, our last round, we're going to do eight invisible decreases. So I'm going to be using an extra band for each decrease. So every two stitches you're stitching together. When you're done round 14, you'll have eight stitches. In your last band, you're going to do a slip knot to tie it closed. So I'm going to stitch my two stitches together. Don't go where it's getting pulled. I'm going to go on your first stitch and do a slip stitch. And leave it on your hook. Your next stitch, slip stitch. Three loops and then you'll slide. And repeat the next two chains, both with a slip stitch. three loops and then slide and continue until you get to your stitch marker. Let's not forget our last band, we need to do a slip knot. And again, I forgot, I'm sorry. Your last stitch, your last band, bring your band through all of the loops and grab the end and let's tie it off. And you can remove your stitch marker. At this point, you wanna stuff and we will add the eyes on later. We just wanna get ready for the hair. Now you want to make sure that this is proportioned enough for the body, so you don't want to make the head bigger than the body. So you don't need much stuffing. The last two rounds here should be flat. So your head shouldn't be bigger than the body. We're going to start off with the hair and I'm going to use caramel color brown. We're going to do this top part of her hair and it's going to be four rounds. I'm going to start off with the magic ring and I'm going to do eight stitches. So I'm going to use eight bands and I'm going to bring it through the one cap band. So I'm going to take my first band and wrap it around the bottom peg three times. One, two, and three. Now you want to bring eight bands through one at a time. So with your hook you want to reach in, 
grab your first band to bring through and on your hook and bring your top loop over. Bring it to the side and just continue going back in, bringing your second band through on your hook and bring your top two loops over and make sure you're bringing it to the side. You just want to continue. Top two loops over. Top two loops over and attach your stitch marker to this band that's around your hook and then you can remove off the loom. Move your bands around and you should have eight stitches. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, and eight is on your hook. For round two, we're going to increase on every stitch. So you're adding two bands to each chain. Two, 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 all the way around. I'm going to use 16 bands, so at the end you should have 16 stitches. So I'm going to go through my first chain and just bring two bands through one at a time. So this is my increase. Going back in that same chain to add my second band. And then moving on to the next stitch with two bands one at a time. Back in and just repeat until you get to your stitch marker. Back in, and the last one. So you should have 16 stitches. Remove your stitch marker and add it to the band around your hook. For round three, we're going to increase on every fourth stitch. So the pattern is three single crochets followed by an increase. One, 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 two. You're going to repeat this pattern four times, and at the end of round three, you're going to have 20 stitches. So I'm going to go in my first three chains, one, two, and three, just with one band. Don't start where it's getting pulled. So it's chain one. Chain two, just a single crochet, and chain three. Now chain four, add two bands, one at a time. Back in. So there's my increase, and I'm just going to repeat. One, 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 two. and repeat. Back in. And one more time. I'm just going to move these up. in 
and you should have 20 stitches, remove your stitch marker and add it to the band that's around your hook. For round four, we're going to increase on every fifth stitch. So you're going to do four single crochets followed by an increase. One, 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 two. You're going to repeat this pattern four times. When you get to your last band, you're not going to do a slip knot, you're going to attach your stitch marker. So we're going to go in our first four chains with one band. One, 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 one. Don't start where it's getting pulled. Chain two. Chain three. And chain four. Chain five, you're adding two bands. Back in. And just repeat the pattern. One. One. And the fourth, your fifth with two bands. Back in and repeat again. So I have five chains left, one, two, three, four, and five. I have my five sections here, so I'm going to continue until I get to the stitch marker. So you can remove your stitch marker and add it to this band that's around your hook. You should have 24 stitches. Now we're going to start attaching our hair piece to the head. I really recommend using a toothpick to hold this down. So you want to put your toothpick through the magic ring of the hair piece and through the magic ring of the head and push it down. This will secure it in place. Now what I'm going to do is 13 chains with 9 bands. So you can see 2, 4, 6, 8, and 9. Oh, that was off camera. So you can see 2, <laughs> two 4, 6, 8, and 9. So nine bands are in each pile, and I have 13 piles. So I'm going to make 13 chains around. The first band that I use, I'm going to go grab the head, and the last band that I use, I'm going to grab the head. Other than that, I'm just going to make a chain. So what I'm going to do first with my toothpick here, push it down so it doesn't end up hitting your finger. Put the, head, the hair piece flat, and you want to grab a chain on the head. So a nice beautiful chain here right underneath. So I grab the hair, sorry, the head and then the hair. I'm going to bring my band through all of those loops that are on my hook and make a chain. So that was one. Two. Three, four, five, six, seven, 
eight. And the last band before you use it, what you want to do is put this hair piece straight down. And what I'm going to be doing is grabbing my second last row around. So I'm going to be doing the rounds with you. And you want to make sure that your hair piece is straight down and it's not twisted. And you want to grab a chain that's on your second last round. So what's going to happen here is I'm going to be grabbing this chain here first because it's straight down. And then you're going to see the next chain you're going to grab. Then inside this, these loops right here. So anything that's not the second last, oh sorry, this last round. So here's one, my next chain, I'll be grabbing this loop here. My next chain, I'll be grabbing the one that will be hiding right here. So all these loops. So I'm gonna bring my band through, all of my chains on my hook, and my last band to secure it, I'm gonna be doing a little slip stitch. Not too tight, and you can let go. You're going to continue that all the way around using, um, doing 13 chains. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to go back to the top and start my next one. So my first band, I'm going to grab the loop on the head right under the loop on the hair. And bring my first band through all of those loops and create my chain. You're going to ch create the chain of nine. Your last band, you're going to catch the bottom of the face. So I'm going to bring it straight down. I just did eight and I want to catch the last the second last little loop before the bottom. What's going to happen is you're going to create this. This is what's going to happen. Now bring your last band through all of the loops and you can create that slip stitch. Now I've done this several times and these haven't come apart. So you might may just want to keep an eye on your little slip stitches as you go around. Now, to do the third chain, go back to the top and go through the head, then through the hair. And do your chain of nine with your last band catching the bottom of the face. And you should be using nine bands for the chains. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. And I thought I overcounted there. You should have eight. Six, seven, eight. And your last, again, just catching the stitch above the bottom. So if you follow the band along, this one is your bottom chain. Bring your band through all of the loops and create that slip stitch. Now for the fourth, just repeat, go through the stitch underneath the hair and do a chain of eight, or sorry, nine last band, catching the bottom. So I have eight, bring it to the bottom. So my band is right here. I want to catch the one right beside it. So as you're going, as you're grabbing your last bands, one will be up, one will be down, one will be up, one will be down. Same thing all the way around. Bring your band through all and create that slip stitch. 
and back to the top. So you know you went through here with your last one and you went through this stitch on the head, you want to go through the next one right beside. So put it flat. and create your chain. I have eight, bring it down and I'm catching this band that's touching the bottom bands. And bring your band through and do that slip stitch. I'm going to fix this one, make sure none's falling apart, and back to the top. So put the hair piece flat and just grab underneath. I'm on my sixth chain. I just did eight. Bring it flat, make sure it's not twisted. And you're gonna find the stitch right above. You're gonna grab and bring your band through and do a slip stitch. And back to the top, the head. You don't wanna grab the same band that you just did the last time you're grabbing the stitch right beside. And for our next chain. My chain of eight bring it down and you're grabbing the stitch right beside so it kind of looks above then this one will be your next chain bring your band through and repeat going back to the top sorry Don't grab the same chain, go beside. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, bring it straight down. We went here. The last time we want to go to the stitch that's just attaching and bring our band through and do a slip stitch. Our next chain will be right that one right there. Back to the top. I grabbed that chain the last time on the face, so I want to grab the one right beside, and it's right underneath the hair, and I'm going to do my next chain. I have eight, bring it down, and the little chain is hiding. 
So I'm not grabbing that band that's facing the bottom. And bring your band through and do a slip stitch. And repeat again. Don't use the same band that's being used. I had an extra band, five, six, seven, eight, and bring it down. My counting wasn't very good, sorry. You want to make sure you're grabbing the band that's right above the bottom and bring your ninth band through and do a slip stitch. Repeat, go back to the top, put the hair piece flat. Grab the next stitch over, oops, and create your chain. chain of eight, bring it straight down, and your little loop should be hiding right there, or sorry, this would be your next one right above. So it's right beside where you grabbed, and it's the band touching the bottom bands. And bring your last band through, your ninth, and do a slip stitch. Keep an eye on your other slip stitches, making sure they're not falling apart. Go back to the top, and two more to go. So I went here, this is my next chain, and I have to grab the chain beside on the face and do a chain. chain of eight, bring it down and find the band that's touching the band to the bottom. So if I give it a pull you're gonna see it's attached to this last band at the bottom and bring your ninth band through. And our last chain, our thirteenth. Don't grab the same band that you used for that, put it flat right underneath and do your chain. Last band, bring it straight down and you want to grab the chain right beside and it's the one touching the bottom band. Bring your band through and this is what you should have. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, and 13. Now I want you to look at the face and make sure that it's evenly proportioned with the hair pieces at the side. So you're going to look at the back and it's just going to be nicely separated just like this. What I'm going to do now is use eight bands and I'm going to do slip stitches all the way up where we just ended. So put your hook through. I'm going to skip this little stitch that's right here and I'm going to grab a stitch on the face that's directly right below it 
and I'm going to grab just this one little top loop that you'll see at the top here on this side. So you want to make sure that your chain is nicely flat and I'm only going to be grabbing these top, these top little loops that are right here. So here I just grab the top, let me let go so you can see. Do a slip stitch, so bringing a band through all and slide. Now going up the face, grabbing a stitch, that one little piece on the chain and bring your band through and do your little slip stitches all the way up. So through all of the bands on your hook and slide. Again, just a stitch that's directly below. Put your hook through and just grab that one little stitch on the chain. Bring your band through. So you're just grabbing these little stitches and go all the way to the top. Now let's see what mine looks like so far. It's still proportioned. And the next And the last one, I'm just going to go through, grab my band, and bring it through. I, went, I didn't grab the head again. If you did, if you did, it doesn't matter. So you can see, looking at it again, this is what you should have. Now we're going to go to the stitch right beside on the hair, and we're going to grab the next stitch on the face. You're going to bring your band through all of the loops and we're going to create a chain of four bands. Your last band, you're going to catch this chain on the face. So I just grabbed the next chain on the face, the next chain on the hair, and what we're going to do is create this piece right here. So there's one, two, three, and four pieces. Those are going to be the hardest pieces, but very little bands, so I will try to go slow. So what I'm going to do is I grabbed the next chain over, bring my band through all of the loops, and on my hook. Let's do this two more times. One, and two. You want to put it flat. And what we're going to do is basically I grab this chain on the face, I'm going to grab the next chain on the face right over. So we were here. This is what I used, and I'm grabbing the next one over. So if you put it flat, you'll see. And bring your band through and create that slip stitch. Now I'm going to go in reverse up and grab the chains. I'm going to do a single crochet, so I'm not going to be doing slip stitches, and I'm going to end right where I started on the hair. So I'm going to go in reverse and I'm going to go through the chains. So there's my band that has a slip knot. Go to the chain right above, not grabbing the face, and do a single crochet. I just did a single crochet. I just want to show you one more time. On your hook and slide. Go to the next chain right above, so you're going from the bottom through the center and do a single crochet. You have one more chain, sorry you're going to need another band. You have one more chain and do a single crochet. Now on the hair, a single crochet. Now I'm going to go in reverse and I'm going to attach this piece down onto the face. And I'm going to be doing slip stitches. My first band, I'm going to be catching the hair, sorry, the hair with the head. 
and then we're going to do slip stitches around. So let's do this piece first. Your next chain on the hair, you want to attach it to the head. So grab the head and the hair and do a slip stitch. Now we're going to go in reverse and secure this to the head. When you're sewing this on, if you put it flat, you're going to see your stitches right below. So I'm going to go in the same stitch where I just came out of, so where my band is being pulled, and I'm going to catch that one first. So just a stitch right below, and now I'm going to do five slip knots all the way down. So that was one, two, three, four, and five. So our next one, just catching a stitch directly below, trying to, anyways, this would be two. The next, if I put it flat, three. I just, I don't want openings on the face. And four. And five is at the bottom. So I'm going to catch the stitch over here. Somewhere over here, a stitch that you can grab. So if you put this flat, I'm probably going to go for the one right at the bottom. I can't go all the way over here because that one is going to pull. So I'm just trying to grab the little stitch that I have here at the bottom. and pull that through. So you're down here at the bottom. Now I'm going to use three bands and I'm going to single crochet up and I'm going to be catching or securing these stitches together. So just three stitches. What I'm going to do is grab one from the chain here and I'm going to grab two from the chain on this side. So one and two. So open it up and you'll find your chains one and then two and then you're going to stop there. So just grab your chains, get comfortable with your hand, grab the one on one side and your chain on the other side. And you're going to do slip knots up. So just three of them. So take a second to look. You're going to the next chain above. You want to grab one and then your chain right above. And do a slip knot or a slip stitch. Your next and your next and do a slip stitch now we're over here and we need to get back over here so what I'm going to do is release this off my hook by holding it with my hand and I'm going to go through the stitches right here so you're going to see one chain and two chain and bring your band through and keep it on your hook the next part that I'm going to do is I'm going to use four bands and I'm going to create a little spot here for the bangs. I'm going to start off by going in my next chain over, catching the head and the hair. So we ended here. This is what we used last on the hair. We're going to the next stitch. So you want to catch the face and the hair and you're going to do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to do a chain of three. My last band I'm going to catch on the face. So I'm going to go to the next stitch first on the hair and catch the face and do a chain of three. So this is one, bringing it through the bands and on your hook. This would be two. Bring it flat and the chain that you see in between this chain here is what you're going to grab. And you're going to bring your band through all of the loops. There's your chain, but you want to do a slip stitch, so you want to slide. Now I'm going to use three bands and I'm going to do slip knots all the way up. 
my last band is not going to go where I started. It's going to go to the chain right beside. So I started here. I'm going to go to my next chain and catch the face. So I'm going to go underneath. I'm going to reverse up and do my slip knots. I'm going to catch on the face and go through the chain and do my slip stitches. I just said slip knots. Slip stitch, catch the chain on the face and go through the chain, your next chain, slip stitch. My last band, I'm going to do a slip stitch, catching the face and the chain on the hair. There's one. Now we're going to repeat this. So what I'm going to do is a chain of three in the next. That's all I'm going to do. So I'm going to go to the next and do a chain of three. So catching the face and the hair, bring your band through and on your hook. Do this again, a chain. And your third band, you want to catch the face. So bring it down and the loop that you see in the center of that band is what you're going to catch. And do a slip stitch. Now I'm going to use three bands just as we did before and I'm going to grab the face, do a slip stitch, grab the face, do a slip stitch and do a slip stitch in the next stitch over grabbing the face and the hair. So go through your chain. And grab the face and the next stitch over on the hair. You should have four chains, one, two, three, and where you're um, stitch marker is, that's your fourth. So that's what you should have left over. And slip stitch. So you can hold that for a second and just bring out the face. So now, before you get to your stitch marker, you should have one, two, three, and your stitch marker is four chains left. My next stitch over, I'm going to do a slip stitch and secure it with the head. So bringing it flat, catching the head, going through the hair and do a slip stitch. Now in my next stitch over on the hair, grab the face, go through the stitch and do a chain of four. Your fourth band, you're going to catch a chain on the face. So bring it through all of the loops and you have a chain. Chain two and chain three. Bring it flat. Bring it flat. You don't want to be over here. You want to have it flat. So basically if you look at this chain right here, this should be, you should be right at this chain. So on the face, one, two, and three. Just an idea. Now, I'm going to do four stitches in reverse. I'm going to do single crochet up. So I have one, two, three, and back where I started, four. I'm go not going to catch the chains on the face, I'm just going to go through the chain and do a single crochet. One, from the bottom up, two, I'm only catching one little band, bottom of that chain is at the bottom there. This is three, through all, the, uh, sorry, single crochet, 
and the last chain on the hair, not catching the face again. Single crochet. Now you should have two, two chains left, one and two. Now I'm going to use six bands, and I ended at the hair right here. I still have my two chains. What I'm going to do is catch the chain on the face and then the chain on the hair to secure this piece right here. And do a slip stitch. I'm going to turn it around and I'm going to catch on the face right below and I'm going to use six bands. So let's get to know our chains. I'm going to go in this first chain where my band is coming out of. So I'm going to go right below and catch the face to secure it. I'm going to pull six bands through each of the chains. So I'm going to go in my first chain where my last little band is coming out of and I'm going to do a slip stitch and I'm going to go all the way down. Now I'm going to try to go as close as I can to this chain so I'm just grabbing, you can see this chain right here and it's beside those chains I'm going to grab these chains that are right in here. So I'm going to go right underneath grab the face and grab the next chain. Do slip stitches, putting this flat, the next stitch on the face and the next chain on the hair and grab my band and do a slip stitch. Putting it flat down again, grabbing the face, the hair, putting it flat and I'm going to be grabbing the bottom with my last band. So chain on the face and the band that's going sh like straight across and slip stitch. Now I have five bands and I'm going to do my slip stitches above, catching this chain right here. So what I'm going to do is turn it around and I'm going to go up. If you put your hook straight, that's the chain that you're going to be grabbing. Now I'm just going to grab the top loop on the side of the chain and I'm going to go up. But So you see your stitches, one, two, three, four, and five. The fifth one that you're going to be grabbing is where your stitch marker is. You're going to just be grabbing one, like your stitch on this side. So just find your band on this side and grab this one just the same as we did on the other side. So I grabbed my chain on this side, one, the two bands, one band, it doesn't matter. I'm going to start right where my band is coming out of and I'm just going to be grabbing my chain and the top loop of my chain on this side and I'm going to be doing slip stitches up. So that was one, grabbing my chain on this side and my top band only one on this side. Concentrate on this chain, not really where you're grabbing on this side. And one. Slip stitch. You want to be equal to this side. And one. Just to kind of secure it up. Where my stitch marker is, I'm just grabbing one and one for the chain that I have going down and I'm at the top.
and a slip stitch. So you can just kind of flatten it out and this is what it should look like. Now right where you ended, I want you to secure it, pulling it tighter, making a slip knot and remove your stitch marker. And then you can go ahead and hide that slip knot. Go through the head and just hide it. Now I am going to secure this chain to the face. So I'm going to start right where I ended, one, two, three, and four, four bands. I'm going to catch the face and do a slip stitch with each. So right this is where I ended, I'm going to grab the same one and just the top loop, just as we did on the other side. Now, grabbing the face right below, try to grab the face and the top loop, one side. Bring your first band through and do a slip stitch. And you're going to go down. So the next stitch, top loop on the chain, slip stitch, again. Try your best to grab the stitch on the face, even if you have to just grab one. You just want to secure it. And one more. And I grab stuffing. <laughs> now turn it around and you want to make sure that both sides are even. Now we're going to be sewing up and then down and up, attaching our chains together. When you're doing this, you're only going to be grabbing a chain on either side, just the top loop like this and doing sing us slip stitches, sorry, all the way up. So grabbing the top loop on either side. You want to make sure that your chains are nice and flat when you're doing it, so just keep an eye on that. When you get to your top chain, you're going to be grabbing either side. You're not going to be grabbing the top part of the hair. Each chain on this side, your little loop is hiding because it's underneath the chain on the face. So you want to grab it. This is the little chain. Each one on this side is hiding. So we end it here and when we're at the bottom we're going to be grabbing our little slip stitches. So my first thing is I'm going to be grabbing my slip stitch and then sliding. Each time you get to the bottom you'll be grabbing the one right beside. Now for your first one because we did stitch on this side already your top loop is going to be just like kind of twisted right here. So I'm going to be doing slip stitches up. What I'm going to do is grab my stitch on either side and do a slip stitch all the way to my last chain. You want to give it a little tug down because you don't want to reuse what you just went in. My next chain, just one little loop on each, shot, each, each side and a slip stitch. Keep an eye on the chain that you just went through. Go right above. Now I've practiced quite a few times, but still this is really hard to explain and I almost didn't do it. So if I do make a mistake with the band count right here, I think that you would get an idea of what it is that I need to do. Slip stitches all the way up. Open it up.
Now this one, I have one little chain roots right here. You're just going to ignore that because that's what I used before and that created an extra stitch. So please just don't worry about that one. What I'm going to do now is go to the next chains over. So leaving this on my hook, I'm going to grab the other side of this chain now, the top loop. Remember my little chain is hiding underneath because I grabbed the stitch on the face so it's kind of disappeared. So you want to just lift it up and you're going to just single crochet down now. Going down, stitch on my chain that I already used before with my new chain here. And your slip stitches. I think I just said single crochet a minute ago. Slip stitches all the way down. So through all of your loops. So when you go up and down now, you should be using about nine bands. Remember, just grab one little top loop on either side. And you're going down to your last chain, which is right above your two little slip stitches here. Or your slip knots. Bring your band through. This is how you end and you want to grab your two slip stitches at the bottom here and put it on your hook. So one and two. That's what you're going to do every time you get to the bottom. Now bring your band, sorry, keep these on your hook and then slide. You need to get rid of them and slide. Now I'm going to attach my chain that I just used, the top chains. So you want to make sure you're right above your little slip stitch here and you're going to go all the way up catching on either side and ending where your hidden band is right here, not in the hair. Open it up if you can't see and make sure you're at your next chain and let's pray my dog doesn't start barking. Keeping an eye on your next chain so you're not going in the same one. Oh, I'm so sorry. And open it up. Once you understand what it is that I'm doing, you can, um, you know, pause me, fast forward, and just continue. I've tried so many ways, and if I kind of did something wrong, it really didn't matter. It kind of had its own effect. And the last chain. And remember this side, it's always hiding. So open it up. I'm at the top and I didn't catch the hair at the top. I'm going to go to the next side, so the other side of the chain that I just used, find my hidden band, and do my slip stitches all the way down. I just want to make sure my chain is kind of twisted right there, so I just kind of put it flat. I'm 
just going to fix my little slip knot here at the bottom. I feel like it was coming apart. And one more. And I'm at my the bottom again. So I'm going to grab my slip stitch on either side, put it on my hook, and then I have the three little loops where I ended, slip stitch, slip stitch, and slide. And go up. So I'm going to hold this slip stitch down so I know which chain to grab. I didn't use that other slip stitch. That's for when I get to the bottom again. And go up. My band is hiding on this side, so just opening it up. And going on the other side, down. Find my two little slip stitches. I want to pull it because I can't see my next stitches. I have two more. And one more. I'm at the bottom, so I'm going to add these two little slip stitches on my hook and then slide. So this is what it's looking, what it looks like so far and I'm going to continue by going up I don't know if I grabbed that one correctly. Just give me a second, open it up, give it a pull, and I didn't. I missed this bottom stitch. Again, you wouldn't have noticed, um, or nobody will notice if you do miss the stitch. And my chain is kind of twisting. My band is hiding. And I hit my last chain, so I'm going to the other side now. And the same thing all the way down.
I'm at the bottom, so I'm going to grab my slip stitches on either side where I ended and my two slip stitches inside. Now going back up to the top, And on the other side now, going down. And grabbing my last two slip stitches and we're going to go up. No, that's why I knew it. One was hiding, so I got confused. So I'm going to find my other slip stitch. I'm going to bring it through. I'm going to put on my hook and slide and go up. And the last one. So if you have the space, you're just bringing it together in the same thing. I'm just going to undo that for one second because I knew I missed a stitch.
So when you're going down the bottom here, because we already grabbed a top loop on the other side, you're going to end this side. You're, you want to grab the top loop that's here and the top loop that's here. And the last one, what I'm going to ask you to do is either you could pull this really tight and then hide it as a slip knot or put it on your hook just to secure it. It's up to you. Um, either way, it doesn't matter. Grab the end and tie it off. And then this is the band that you're going to hide. This little band, you could loosen up the tension. Excuse me, and then hide your band for your little slip knot. And then you can do kind of a better job than I just did there. So it's done.